Hey everyone, Chrissy here for ThermoWeb, and I'm going to show you how I made these cards. I did this one first to kind of show you um, what we were going to be doing, and now we're going to make the card. So I have this really cute stencil. It's from Brutus Monroe, and it's called Paint Spots, and it is. It's totally little paint spots. I think it's so great. So I'm just going to add some of this deco foil transfer gel onto the stencil after I've adhered it down and I've protected my surface. And I'm going to put it on a piece of black cardstock. This is actually the Gina K Premium Black Cardstock. And I set it aside and let it dry. The one thing I'll say is make sure you definitely clean off that stencil. The adhesive gel, uh, that transfer gel, it dries quick and it will stick to your stencil. So then I grabbed a little bit of the pretty lilac um, foil and ran it through my laminator. And then pulled that out and kind of set everything aside. And then I went and I started coloring in this adorable little witch. She looks so unhappy, doesn't she? It's from another uh, Brutus Monroe set, and it's called Witch Please, which I do have to say this set is super hilarious. There's a bunch of really fun sentiments on it. So I'm just using some Spectrum Noir, um, the Aqua Markers. And these are like watercolor markers. You can use any type of watercolor markers, uh, really even like colored pencils, however you want to color this in. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fussy cut it out to put it onto the card. So as I mentioned before, make sure you clean off that stencil. Make sure you protect your surface when you're using the transfer gel and let it dry. Um, I let it dry about a half an hour. You can let it dry overnight if you want to. Um, but you get great results with the transfer gel. It just has to be 100% dry. So now I'm just going to go and I'm going to add a sentiment from that same set. I just cut a little strip of black paper and I'm going to heat emboss it with some white powder. I just use some watercolor, I'm sorry, watermark ink to stamp it on there and then I heat emboss it. And so now I'm going to use some foam squares from ThermoWeb. This is going to get it a little bit of um, dimension. You could do it flat if you want, but I just, I love cards that have a lot of dimension. I know that sometimes it can be a little more costly to mail them, but I think it's totally worth it because it just gives something extra to that card. So I'm also adding um, some of the foam squares for the, the little witch too to pop her up. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some glass beads. And I'm just using um, my deco foil. It's the liquid adhesive. Um, this stuff is great. It dries clear. It works super well. You can see I like squeezed a bunch of it out there. I love it. Um, it's so perfect for sequins. And these are little glass beads from Brutus Monroe, and they worked just as perfectly as sequins. Like I said, it dries clear, so you can't even tell um, that I had liquid glue on there. So I should also mention, too, I stamped that in the Raven ink. That was Brutus Monroe as well. So um, I also used a spring green for this other card for the foil. Thanks so much for stopping by today, and make sure you use hashtag ThermoWeb on social media.